She sells seashells on the seashore. Nailed it, we're ready. Okay, let's go. Okay. All right, so, guys. Oops, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Get out, yeah, yeah, just speak what I'm speaking. Okay, it's your vlog. We're live on air, come on, it's about me now. guys we're back and we're currently on our way to a really really nice swimming spot uh, Gladhouse Reservoir just outside Edinburgh I might have mentioned before that I'm training towards swimming the English Channel with five of my really good friends and and four four of my really good friends five including me we have all been doing our own kind of individual training I've been focusing a lot on the cold water training because it's something that I'm generally starting to enjoy a lot more and because I'm up in Scotland it's freezing cold up here anyway so why not do it whilst it's on your doorstep kind of thing so I've been looking to see uh, how long I can stay in the water and kind of progress that and that's gearing all towards being able to withstand the cold when we're swimming the English Channel it's only like three and a half weeks away now so not long at all and um, the water is going to be anywhere between like 12 and 16 degrees depending on where we are in the channel depending on the, what the weather's been like kind of that week as well. So the cold is going to be a really big factor of, of how challenging the swim is going to be. So tonight the plan is to see if we can, you know, maybe surpass a 60 minute swim in, in the water. Um, all gearing towards, in fact, the qualifying swim that I'm going to have to do in about two weeks time, which is a two hour swim in water under 16 degrees. And once we've done that, we can officially qualify to swim the channel. So. We're kind of running out of time to be honest, so I need to get my ass in gear. Um, so tonight will be a really good test of where I'm at and how my cold water tolerance has gone. And then hopefully get the qualifier done in a few weeks. I might stay in for a couple of hours. I think I'm going to be in perfect condition when I get out. One hour later. You're glowing, Daniel. You're glowing. Glowing like an angel, they say. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're here. And as I said, I'm going to kind of just break down a little bit more about the specific training that I have been doing in preparation for the channel and more importantly in preparation for qualifying for the channel so the way that the swim works is we swim it in a relay of five swimmers and we all swim for one hour at a time and we rotate that until we get to france until we get to cali so it's really important for us to be able to build up our endurance to swim for an hour at a really high intensity then recover in time and get back in and do that again so in a couple of weeks time, I have my two hour qualifying swim that I need to complete in order to be able to swim the channel with the other boys. So today I'm going to really try and just test myself, test my body, kind of see how I can handle the cold. So maybe try and hit an hour today and kind of go through the motions of refueling and making sure that my endurance is there, make, making sure that I can kind of keep my body warm enough um, for, for long enough, essentially. So in today's swim, the plan is to maybe feed it about halfway so feed it about 20 to 30 minutes and just kind of understand how my body's going to handle that because the two hour qualifying swim we'll probably have to be feeding throughout not so much in the channel itself because it's only an hour but today's just about kind of practicing and trying to keep our body warm as the temperature drops so yeah see how that goes i'm naked <laughs> just like that nice just like that. All right, shit. Now I've actually got to do exactly what I was talking about there. This doesn't sound fucking fun for anyone. No, I fucking hate this shit. I genuinely don't like it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick and tired of being a puppet for Connor. <laughs> right, I need to get these snacks at ready. Guys, so this is swim for the furthest I've ever swam in the cold right now.
Peace. Ah, it's really nice right there. The sun. Oh, shit. Woo. Right. I'm cold. I feel quite good in there though. Technically, it feels alright. It's cold, but it's manageable. My jaw's like locked up though. Yeah, you got a wee shiver going on. Uh-huh. How you feeling? Cold. Cold, yeah, expected. Yeah, I felt pretty good though. But when you start getting tired, it's fucking hard. It's definitely a little bit warmer. It's much more manageable. But then when you stay in for longer, the cold still gets you. Muscles are like seizing up slightly like two more degrees will make a big difference as well your speech has even gone a bit your jaw sees yeah. that speech is starting let's go Whew. I'm gonna sit in the car for a second. Oh god. Well, I'll get on the road. Oh. That went well. That was really good. Really enjoyed it for a start. Um, the water is definitely not warm yet it's still really cold but i think it's about a degree and a half warmer than i've been swimming in um, at least for that amount of time so it definitely did help i felt pretty good during the swim the plan was to like start refueling about 20 minutes in but the way that i swam it i swam quite far out kind of swam around this island and by the time i wanted to start refueling i was like nowhere near the fueling station so I didn't get back to like the station where my food and drink was till about 40 minutes into the swim which in hindsight was probably a little bit too late so I only went 45 minute swim so to, to start refueling about 40 minutes in is probably a bit too late so kind of learned that um, the hard way I guess but physically in the water felt really good until the point where I was like shit I need to start bringing in some more calories and it was a bit too late for that so I think um, looking at like looking forward to the two hour qualifier um, I've learned a lot about making sure I'm taking on calories and fuel quicker than I was today but um, some really good takeaways as far as how I felt in the water um, and it, it was a pretty 
pretty nice peaceful swim to be fair out there, the, the sun was going down so I think that location is going to be something I need to really think about for this tour qualifier like teammates down in London all did theirs last week and we had um, another teammate do his over in Portugal um, and now I'm stuck up in Scotland and it's freezing up here so might have to go further afield and find somewhere that is slightly warmer because the difference between 12 and a half degrees and 14 and a half degrees is is big it's going to make the swim a lot more manageable if it is slightly warmer so i can take a lot away from today and look to smash this qualifier in a few weeks yeah so look out for the next video follow along for the progress and if you're not following me on social media please do because i do do a lot more uh, regular content around my training around kind of what's going on um, with the channel and everything else so follow along <laughs> They look so old, so bad. They're, they're terrible. <laughs> they're terrible. Well, I do. Hello, hello, hello. Can you talk? No, I can't talk. I'm actually got mute. This could be your accidental qualifier. There's nothing accidental about success. I'm going to deliver. Yeah. Oh. Go. 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 Cock. <laughs> Cock and balls. Still there? No. For now. There's never really much ever there to be honest. Ready to go. Get my back looking good.